So the show starts, and Cole is there, and they brought Miz out after a while, but I tuned that out. But um, they're doing the the false pitch to last week to explain what happened when everybody was murdered. And all of a sudden, Drew McIntyre just walks right past the camera and into the ring. And I was the, and this is what this show, we started in the penthouse and ended up in the outhouse. And immediately, the people are chanting CM Punk. And he calls, Drew calls for a replay. What happened last week? I can't do the accent. I sound more like Bill Dundee. What happened last week, mate? Uh, when he beat the shit out of Punk and carried him in the building and threw him down and it looked like it almost broke his arm when he chucked him off his back. And Drew said, I prayed for this and the big man made it happen. Me. And I am just, I'm loving this. Every time he does an interview, I want to listen to this shit. And it's not just the material, it's the delivery and the attitude. It all, it's perfect. And he, he says he's done with all of you CM Punk chanters because he complained about everything that had been done to him and, and all the fans still chant CM Punk. Well, you're dead to me. And then he told Punk, he said, I hope you're uncomfortable in pain and being fed through a straw. Oh, uh, hold on one second, Brian. I... I must fan myself. I, I believe I'm getting the vapors. Oh, will you stop it? <laughs> oh. oh. So then, and this is now I'm getting goosebumps. This is great. The bracelet that he pulled off, I meant to mention it. I don't remember if, if I did or not when we talked about it. I think I did, but he pulled a bracelet off, but it was it just, it was, wasn't made a big deal at the time, and we didn't really know what it was. And I knew it was going to be something, but this is, he held the bracelet up, and it says, it's one of the, the make your own with the little help me. But you have children and people who make things. What is that bracelet? Describe it for the, the people. It's a friendship bracelet. Everyone knows what that is. See? It's a friendship There's bracelet. That's the problem. I've never had a friendship. So... Anyway, he holds the friendship brace. It's got the little blocks that have the the, the letters, letters, letters. And, it, and, and you string it, and it spells out names or things, and it says Larry and AJ. And he apparently a fan, and this is a story he's telling is great. A fan made this. It's almost like when they tore up the fucking Fantastics jackets or the the... Fan club president's cake got destroyed by the heel giving it to the baby face or whatever. But a fan made the bracelet, gave it to C to uh, CM Punk, and he treasures it, wears it every time he leaves the house because he has his family with him. Yeah, Larry and AJ, you, your wife and your stupid dog, and the fans started chanting Larry. Larry, Larry, the WWE is getting people to chant for the boys' dogs. And the God and AEW can't give people to chant anything except a refund. So now they're chanting Larry, Larry. And Drew enters the money in the bank match and he's got or he's in, intends on entering it. And he's going to win it while Punk is alone and miserable, and he puts the bracelet on, and he says, I'm not alone because I've got your wife and dog in my corner. Now this is some fucking Shakespeare right here, fella, don't you think? McIntyre's been on a roll. We said he had to do something to Punk because Punk's gotten him a few times. Somehow he did something and escalated things and not too far. Now you can't wait to see what Punk's going to do because he has to do something. It's going to be a nice, fun road, I think, between now and SummerSlam. You just know he's going to do something about that. And see, that that's what I said. They apparently are confident that they can put this match on at, at WrestleMania or at, at, at SummerSlam because that's why I said you wouldn't want to do something to Punk without having some type of clear date 
that he may be, that he'll be clear that he could return, that you could actually promote the match too far out and people, it would wear off. But SummerSlam is what, six weeks or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, which that's, that's just lovely. Cause he just got beat up. He's got to get well from that too. But I've, I, Drew McIntyre is my, my new verbal hero. Cause he, he me, and I think he means all of this shit. I really do. I think he's entirely shooting and he would probably, if he could get away with it, he could probably poison half these people and not think twice about it. 